Welcome to a new video by DJSPRC. Today we have the Spectrum XBC100, the uh, smart battery checker and servo driver, they say, or tester. Uh, basically, uh, <laughs> it's a tester and a battery checker and a battery programmer at the same time uh, to be able to program these batteries right here. Let's open it and see what's inside the box. One of the first thing you have in the box is a manual. Again, even if you're watching this video, I do suggest to read this. They do give you a screen protector put in front of your, uh, your charger, no, put in your tester. <coughs> Taking it out of the box, the, te the tester gives you a lanyard to be able to hold it. Now on the tester itself, there is a protector on it that if you go in the corner, you'll peel off. Um, basically, I'll keep this one on it until it gets so scratched up. Then I'll remove it and I'll pop this one on it. But physically, if you look at it, uh, one side you'll have uh, IC3 and basically the balancing port. On the other side, you'll have a USB, servo lead, and a micro USB. And this is where you could insert the lanyard through the hook here and have it uh, hooked up. <coughs> Sorry. Now, if you want to basically uh, test your battery up to see what's happening with it, you can grab pretty much any battery. You don't need to have a smart battery to make this guy work. Let's uh, grab one battery. And of course I don't have one nearby. <clears throat> this I'm not sure this would work no let's use this one here unfortunately I didn't bring one close by now, to be able to power this thing guy up, there's two ways you can power it up. You can power it from the IC3 right here, or basically the balancing lead. Now, I just put an extension on this guy here just to extend it. And if I grab my lead, I know the black is always negative. We'll flip it upside down, put the black towards the IC3, plug it in. <coughs> and the, uh, basically the smart ch checker will light up. But let's say by accident, you put in the bottom part here. It's okay, it doesn't matter, it won't damage it at all. The internal circuitry will protect itself. Now let's say we plug it on top here. Now the charger is telling us, I'm not sure if you can really see it, I'll, the camera <laughs> doesn't really want to show it. See if I bring it a little bit closer here. There you go, kind of see it. It will give you the different cells here. It's telling me the battery is 21%, 3.74, 3.76, and 3.75. Uh, now, if we press here, we can do a cell balance, servo tester. That's the, the different steps. That's the 760 US, uh, 1520 US, USB charge, uh, low voltage alarm, battery type, alarm tone, system information, and this is the volume. And let's see if I... Bring down the brightness. <coughs> I 
There we go. A little bit easier to see on the camera now. If she wants to focus, there we go. Then you have the language. Uh, there's multiple languages. This guy, you can change it. And now that's the backlight. That's the volume. Again, system information, alarm tone, battery type, low voltage alarm, USB charger, servo tester, and so on and so on. Uh, cell balance. Basically, if I would start that, it would start balancing the cells to the balancing leads. <clears throat> but now let's plug in the main port. I'll have my, I have my adapter here, IC3 to IC5s with the middle pin. <clears throat> now the physical battery uh, the smart charger, come on focus, there we go, is giving me the internal temperature, 77 Fahrenheit. Uh, we have a voltage 11.35 volts, 22%. Now, we could physically use this battery to charge up anything that's USB here, or even to do a servo testing. And the micro USB is for firmware update and things like that if you ever need to do something uh, on the firmware if they do come out with some new firmware but now if we go back in the menu <coughs> usb charge if i select that one basically now the output here is live it will tell you the amount of amperage and the wattage it consumes and the amount of time it took now we'll hit stop. Same thing for servo testing. I don't have a servo nearby to test it out. I'll try to put this. There we go. Uh, basically cell balance. And you have back, you go back to the main battery. <coughs> now you have the low voltage alarm. Battery type. On the battery type, it won't let me select any battery type. It knows it's a LiPo in it. Now, let's say I would have another type of battery. It would have been uh, lithium-ion. It would know by itself. Now, alarm tone. This is just if you use it, this as an alarm. Information system, again, tells you the uh, hardware and the OS in it. And again, you have your backlight. Not what I want to do. Now, if you hold the main start button here, if you hold it down, that's where you're going to go in the menu of the chip inside your battery. Right now, camera can focus again. I'm just gonna do this, sorry. Should read, there we go. It's on auto storage at 37 hours. Now, when this battery would be fully charged, in 30, 37 hours, it will go in storage mode by itself. Now you can select the storage voltage, 3.8, uh, charge current 5 amps, uh, charge voltage is 4.0, and there's an uh, exception to the record. Basically, it keeps a record what happened with this battery physically. Now, and let's say we go in the auto storage. That's where we can physically change it of uh, the amount of time we want it to be on storage mode. Now you can decide uh, 72 hours, uh, you can decide uh, 150 hours you want your battery to go in storage mode by itself. Now any smart technology battery will have that chip built in. You could use this guy here 
to be able to do it instead of buying the uh, the charger, the S1200 or the S200, 2000, if I remember correctly. You don't need the charger physically to be able to use the smart technology and these batteries here. Uh, with the smart checker, you'll be able to do it too. Now we're gonna go back out. <coughs> we go back in our battery, fast press, and you go in the physical menu of the rest. Now let's say you go into cell balance, press enter. Basically what it's doing right now, it's balancing the cells. 3.75, 3.75, 3.75, but there's a the point 3 3.751, uh, 758, 79, 55. It's gonna bring that back to all identical. And this guy's hard to see, but it lights up. Now I'll press it again. We hit stop. Go back in our menu here, and now you can do a servo tester if you wanted to. Again, if you want to charge something on the side here, you have to start it. Go back, you go in the main menu, hold and press. Now you go in the smart section, storage voltage, you can physically select 3.8 or 3. and go and so on and change it the way you want. Leave it at 3.8. Charge current, you can select that. Basically, it knows when you plug it in your charger, you want this charge rate, it will go to that charge rate. Leave it at five. Charge voltage, you can play with that too. You can physically really design this battery for what you want to do. Pretty much any smart battery will do the same thing too. Now we're gonna exit from this. Now, if you have any questions or comment about this smart USB charger at the same time, uh, XBC100 from uh, Spectrum, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you hit that bell notification in the corner, you'll be notified next time I upload a video. Thank you for watching.